हरे कृष्णा इफ वी डोंट गिव अप आवर अटैचमेंट्स वॉलेंटरीली वी विल हैव टू गिव देम अप इन वॉलेंटरीली वेन वी गो थ्रू आर लाइफ जर्नी वी ऑफन गेट अटैच टू मेनी थिंग्स एंड if we become acquainted with spiritual wisdom we do understand that these attachments are undesirable and that we need to give them up but unfortunately we don't have the inclination to give them up we just have, want to hold on to them as long as possible and we hope we can hold on them life long but the nature of this world is that things are temporary and we need to learn what it is that we should strive to hold on to actually the only thing we can really hold on to the only thing that will stay on with us is krishna he is right in our hearts and he is our eternal lord eternal benefactor eternal companion and if we connect with him if we shelter ourselves in him we will march upwards towards an eternal life with him so our attachment is not to be given up but our attachment is to be spiritualized by being redirected towards krishna now uh, unfortunately if we don't connect with krishna if we don't have a devotional disposition towards krishna then we uh, let ourselves stay attached to worldly things and eventually we lose those worldly things the example of such attachment is arjuna It's not. It's not Arjuna. Sorry, it's the Trishtra. The Bhagavad Gita begins with the Trishtra's question: Dharma Kshetre, Kuru Kshetre, Samaveta Yudsavaha Mamaka Pandava Shaiva, Kima Kurvata Sanjaya. So the Trishtra asks: After the armies had been assembled on the war field of Kuru Kshetra, what did they do? And now this question is peculiar because if they have ar- the armies have assembled for fighting. you know they were going to fight now the trishtra is asking this question because he is hoping that maybe uh, maybe because of the influence of the place maybe his party decided not to fight maybe would he lose the kingdom voluntarily would he hold on to the, would he be able to hold on to the kingdom the trishtra the very name indicates that one was strongly attached to his kingdom actually it was not his kingdom he never inherited it so but still he got very attached to it when he circumstantially somehow got it and the bhagavad gita ends with a declaration or with an answer to his unspoken question his unspoken question was what happened to my kingdom am i still going to be the king or am i going to lose my kingdom and sanjay answers by declaring that yatra yogeshwara krishno yatra partho dhanurdhara तत्र श्रीर्विजयो भूतिर्ध्रुवाणी तिर्मतिर्मम इन 18.78 ही स्टेट्स दैट वेर एवर देर इज सुप्रीम मिस्टिक कृष्णा वेर एवर देर इज अ पैरामाउंट आर्चर अर्जुन देर देर बी विक्ट्री सो दैट मीन्स संजय सेलिंग अर्जुन दैट विक्ट्री इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन द साइड ऑफ द कवर ऑफ द पांडवस नॉट ऑन द साइड ऑफ द कवरस दैट मीन्स दत राष्ट्र इज गोइंग टू लूज हिस किंगडम एंड दैट्स वॉट इवेंचुअली हैपन्स in the uh, mahabharat war so what the kingdom that he was not ready to give up voluntarily krishna himself came as shanti dut on a mission of peace to try to pacify the trishtra so that he could he could uh, the conflict could be amicably resolved but the trishtra did not listen to re- reason he listened to his own son his irrational attachment to his son and what happened he lost the kingdom eventually he lost his sons and he lost his kingdom also so actually when we lose our attachments forcibly now some of us we may lose them because of the vicissitudes of life we may be wealthy and tomorrow the bank balance the bank may crash or the economy may crash and we may lose our wealth or we may remain wealthy life long and then we lose everything at the time of death but what we lose involuntarily we don't get gain much by that what we lose what we give up voluntarily because when we give up something voluntarily we have the opportunity to take up something voluntarily when we voluntarily turn towards krishna with the mood of wholeheartedly connecting with him then we gain eternally we become devoted to him absorbed in him and attain his eternal abode thank you
हरे कृष्णा